David Day, aka Miss Getting It Done, and I'm here with the incredible, the extraordinary. You, you, you know him, you love him, and I guess what we're trying to do right now is pose. <laughs> I'm trying to be a poser with the world's best poser. Uh, <laughs> come on, yes, you are. But this is this is going to be very, very interesting. Why? Because uh, I don't even know what I'm doing. But we're going to wing it. We're going to try to play something up really nice for you guys. So, if you're ready, let's go. My legs are my weak point, like in terms of posing. They're not like totally small, but I don't know how to use them for posing. So okay. I need help. Yeah, how do you get a pump for a bodybuilding show? Uh, okay, first thing, let's not even worry about a pump. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, why? Because pump is probably really, really, really overrated. What we need to be worried about is neurological connection, neurological awareness, and the first thing we want to be present or aware of is the floor beneath our feet. Okay. Every pose starts from the floor up. Touch your neighbor and say every pose starts from the floor up. Every pose starts from the floor up. Every pose starts from the floor every up. Floor, every pose starts from the floor up. Every pose starts from the floor up. Okay, without further ado, what we're going to do is... I didn't know that. Yes, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> I didn't know it. We're going to take our attention to the mirror just in front of us. Okay. Uh, and with that... The mirror looks good. Well, you look good in the mirror. And what we're going to do is try to make sure we can show all of that. Yeah. You got big dreams. Yeah. I you want to film yeah. Well, fame costs. Oh, and right here is where right. we start paying in sweat. All right. All right, so we're going to work. All right, first thing we want to do is we want to become conscious of the floor beneath our feet. This is fun. We plant our feet on the floor. All right. Plant our feet on the floor. Every time we do a pose, we're going to become aware, aware of the our feet on the floor. So with that said, what I want to do is I want to tell you about eight poses. This is a vocabulary that everybody needs to know when you're getting on stage at your traditional bodybuilding show. Those, those poses are eight and they are the traditional posing vocabulary. We're going to start with the front double bicep. All right. That's what's up. All right. And I like it. Okay. Let's go into a front lat spread. Sorry. This is really good. Really good. And let's go into a quarter turn to the right, which means we're going to just turn to our right and stand from our side. Good news, we're going to do a side tricep. Uh-oh, uh -oh, somebody's been working already. I can see it. I can see it, and that is a very nice side tricep. Let's do this. Let's go from there to a side chest. But well, we're going to still stand from the side. Still want to stand from the side. I know. Dang. You got my weak side. Let's do, don't worry, don't worry. I'm falling off balance. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no side is a weak side. Okay. There's, a, there's something you offer from every side. <laughs> That's why we're going to do this like this. Side chest. Bang. Okay. Uh oh. Somebody's <laughs> been practicing. All right. And quarter turn to the right again. And again, quarter turn to the right. We're going to back that mirror. This way. No, no, no. <laughs> Your other right. This one. Hey, this one. Hey, you're right. Oh, okay. Hey. Okay, so now you've got your back <laughs> facing the mirror, and we're gonna do a rear double bicep. All right. Nice. Oh, I like it. And relax. And a rear relax one. Here it comes. Uh -oh. Here it comes. Oh. Somebody's got tricks up this sleeve. Somebody's been working on their display. Good news. Okay, let's do another quarter turn. Yes. We're gonna do a side tricep from here. Side tricep, side tricep, side tricep. Tricep. Hey! There you go. Nice. Nice. Very nice. And now side chest. Okay. Maybe I didn't need to get a pump for this. Yeah, good, good, and relax. Ooh. Quarter turn to the right again. Nope, that was your face. Yes, yes. Good. 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 See, it's always to the right. So to the right. Always to the right. Bop. Always to the right. Bop to the right. Bop to the right. Bop to the right. And finish. All right. So from here, what we want to do is we want to do a hands on head. Abdominal and thigh. Thigh. 
Alright. Good move. Good move. And relax. Beautiful. Most muscular. Most muscular. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Alright. Alright, so congratulations, man. We just went through the eight mandatory compulsory poses. Okay. Dude, you're in amazing shape. Thank you. And your physique is awesome. You've obviously been working on this thing. Because you got a complete physique from the floor up. From the bottom to the top. From the rooted to the two. Um, <laughs> rooted to the two. Rooted to the two. What we're going to do right now is we're going to talk a little bit about breaking some of these poses down. Let's do this. Okay. Let's, in five minutes or less, let's start talking about quarter turns. Right. So the quarter turns, everything starts from the floor up, right? So what happens is we want to always be mindful of planting our feet on the floor, turning our toes out, which means that when we bend our knees, we give our knees a place to go. Okay. That, see that right there? What yeah. you just did. Yeah. See what happens when you do that? You automatically start to activate your quads. Yes. Uh, Activating those quads. Means so wait, wait. My feet didn't point out. Mm -hmm. Is it? It's like I'm pressing out, like spreading floor. Well, when you when you, you turn your toes out, right? Because when you turn your toes out, your knees. Follow, and that gives them a place to go. Think about this: if you were to bend without that, then when you bend in here, this 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 causes problem with your knee. Yeah. You get, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what happens is we turn those toes out. When we bend those knees, we give those knees a place to go with the bend, right? Yeah. And then what happens is you're able to immediately with that bend, you put an isometric contraction now on that quad. So now those quads, see how those fibers start to just start working their way out there, see that? Yeah. Now, if you also start to do something called cool, trying to pull your knees to your chest, bang, what happens is, yes, look at that, look at that, ha! Right there. I like it. Records for Morris, hello, Sartorius, let's go. You look like an anatomy chart. Now, I like that, and I see how, now yeah. what happens is you don't want to stay down here. You want to yeah. almost look like you're standing up, but you still do that, though. You, bend, you turn your toes out, give your knees a place to go, Yep. Right? You bend down slightly, you take your pelvis, and you're able to rock that pelvis back a little bit. Let me show you. So I rock that pelvis back a little yeah. bit. And what happens is my ass goes back when I do that from the front, and I start to pull my knees to my chest. What happens is breakfast force comes alive. All that little detail you got going on in there starts walking its way out. There you go. See that? Look at that. Good. Now don't block it. Don't block it with your body. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to avoid. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Now don't stay there like that now, because now you want to you look like you're standing up and you make it happen and make it look effortlessly, make it look effortless. But now what we're doing now, we're talking about becoming conscious of the floor, placing our feet on that floor, and now with the placement of our feet and the neurological contractions, the neurological awareness of our muscles, we start to make those muscles contract and press out from underneath the skin. Now, because you're so dialed and developed, guess what? With the right lighting, all that detail just starts to walk out. And this is how we start talking about displaying. You get me? What I would want you to do, though, is I want you to stay there like that, but that's not, we don't want to stay squatted down. Yeah. We want to pick that up just a little bit and look like we're standing straight up. Ah, there you go. Oh. Now, I want you to hold that. Flex is hard. I am. Pull those knees to your chest. Press down. Uh, I want you to breathe. I want you to breathe. We're gonna count to ten. One, two, three, four. Flex is hard now. Five. Flex is hard. Six. Pull those knees to your chest. Eight, nine, ten. All right. Relax for a second. Uh, okay. So now what's happening is we're coming conscious of the floor, yeah. and with that, we're, we're learning how to flex our muscles from the floor to our waist. All right. Without doing anything else, let's turn around to this, this next quarter turn. And let's become conscious again of the floor uh, beneath our feet. Now, one thing I'd like to become conscious of too is placement of that 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 um, that foot. Not this. Don't do that. Okay. Don't put this back because you we want to we want to enhance the visual capability here, right? right? So anytime we want to, anytime that we're gonna we're going to do something from the side like that, I want to turn my I want to look at my foot. Yeah. I got my toe. I got my heel yeah. in the middle. Is where I'm going to in the middle of my instep. Uh -huh. Is where I want to plant the uh -huh. uh -huh. ball of my foot. Uh -huh. Right now, what happens is when we do that and we squat down just a little bit. Remember the flex, flex, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, 
I want you to flex. Alright. Yeah, flex. Um, it's almost like, so you know when you squat, right? So I want you to flex. And I, I want you to do something if you can. When you think about the hamstring, alright? Mm -hmm. And you think about working glutes. You ever see when you sit down in the abductor machine and you open your knees out and activate your glute? Yeah. So your, your pelvis is back, you open your knees out and activate your glute. When you do that here in this in this position, when you become conscious of trying to ride that knee out, guess what happens? Activation occurs on that glute. So I'm trying to make the knee go this yes. way. Yes, now see how this see how this vastus lateralis and your iliotibial bend, see how this stuff starts to pop out? Tensor fascia lateral, you look like an anatomy chart, bro. Somebody can teach anatomy looking at you here. Okay, so so now all those things from the floor all to right. me, right? Yeah. All right, now from here. <laughs> We get to this glute. Remember, in order to activate that glute just a little bit, we're gonna turn that, we're gonna take that knee and try to press it out just a little bit. Press it out which way again? We're taking it out. Lateral. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh. Activation here. Yeah. Sit on it. Don't be scared. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I feel it. Yeah. 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 There you go. So there's weight on the ball of my foot. Yes. Okay. Right there. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. So, so I'll put my weight on this one. Yep. Okay, okay. Flex. Yeah. Ah, flex. Dot dot. Flex. Now, side tricep. So, yes. Now, everything that you do, now, one thing I want you to do though, I don't want you to stay, stay hunched over like this. I want you to come up, sit up proud of me. Look at this. So, <clears throat> external. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. Burn, burn. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. I'm glad I didn't get a pump for this. Well, see, that's the thing. I would have been really tired. See how that's over, it's overrated? Yeah. The pump isn't the thing we're looking for. What we want to work on is neurological awareness. You need to be aware of your muscles. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Because yeah. this is how you're able to flex them. See, if you were to pump these things up before you get on stage, now everything's so pumped. Everything's pumped, now you get on stage, and I'm just thinking about a pump. Those guys, usually, a lot of times, they're the guys that by the time they get to the stage, they were over pumped. Uh -huh. And now they can't feel stuff. Yeah. And, and those guys start to shake and lose control. If you were one of those guys that were really working on the pump that usually identifies you as possibly one of these guys that are just getting started, the veteran guy on that stage, he wasn't trying to pump and work out backstage. You know what he was doing? He was sitting there with his tracksuit on. And he was watching some clock. And while everybody else is doing push ups, and, hey, I'm gonna be pumped. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be pumped. What, what else can I do? Pull ups. Those guys. Those guys will run out, they'll sprint, and they'll get on the stage, and then guess what happens? They start to lose that pump. And when they lose that pump, they start to get cold. Yeah. And they start losing awareness of what to do and where they're at. Meanwhile, the other guy that was slow, methodical, was aware, and able to move like a technician. Because he was aware, that guy is able, his body is just starting to come alive okay. on stage. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So he's not worried about the pump. In fact, the guy that's the masterful technician that's aware of this bodybuilding game showing his physique under the lights on stage, he's not worried about a pump, if anything. He's worried about getting ready, making sure he can feel things. Because now when he gets on stage, once you start going through his quarter turns, he's going to work. Yeah. You know, he's going to work. And he's going to start to show you things that the other guy can't show you with just a pump. That guy that's worried about the pump, he's probably He's, 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 he's in trouble. He doesn't know it yet, but he's in trouble. Okay. Um, one good example I can give you is Lee Labrada, any year at the Olympia, particularly his last five attempts at the Olympia. Uh, another good example of that, there was a guy named Jose Guzman. Um, there's probably very limited video footage on this guy, but he was one of those guys that was a WNBF pro, uh, IFBB pro, and one of the, I believe, NAVA pro bodybuilders. Awesome guy to watch, veteran, veteran, um, masterful posing when those guys backstage. Posing is not just pretty movements and flashy stuff. Posing is about neurological awareness and control. Okay. You know, so um, everything that we just talked about applies. Because what we're talking about now is becoming aware of control. When you have it all together with the polish, the, the, the stuff that I saw you doing, with, which you're, you're using your external obliques, you're blowing down, you, your waist looks minuscule, and, and, yeah. you, and you're still conscious of all those other tricks that you've learned, yeah. that stuff all comes together, and it 
shows itself from the floor up. And that's when you're able to say, wow, you know what? Yeah. This guy is the man. Okay. All right. So uh, we did the side tricep. Let's do the side chest. Okay. I would like to see you do this without that lean. Without set what? It up, set it up just the way, just the way we talked about. Like this. Yeah, right. Half section the foot, like we did. Yeah. Right. Flex on the. Yes. Okay. Now bring that knee in because you don't want to let it sit out there. Yeah. You know the yeah. idea is to to just be aware of it so you can activate the glute. And 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 okay, okay. And I got it. I think I got yes. Right. yes. All right, good news. All right. Now don't now see here's the thing with the lean. You don't have to lean now. Yeah. Pick that chest up, right? Sit on it, and that's it. You don't see like the, the greats, they're not leaning. Like we see like a Bob Paris pose or uh 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 Lee Labrada. Um when they're in when they're when they're it's a side chest, they're they're sitting straight up. So yes. the idea was to, to flex your upper, your upper, the, the, the pec that's furthest away, right? Is this it? Yeah. <laughs> See? This is good. This is this is good. This is good. I mean, this is a lean. You're telling me to yeah, avoid. Don't lean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't lean. Right, don't lean. Like this. Don't lean. Yes. Yes. That's very pretty. That's very, very, very pretty. And you don't have to turn so exaggerated. Oh. Huh? You can, yeah, you can. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. That? Yep. Perfect. Left turn? Left turn. Right there. Is, so the, yeah, this is this is this is it. Because remember, there's people on this side of the auditorium, people in the middle, and then there's people on this side. When you turn, you're you're trying to allow them all the opportunity to see. But let's say if you were just standing straight up and this is your point of reference, yeah. you don't want to be seen too too much this way or too too too, too less that way. The, the idea is to be straight up, and that's the pose. Okay. You get me? Gotcha. All right. All right. Next Side one. tricep. Side tricep. Good. Here's the thing. This is beautiful, but notice how all of this stuff is not happening. First. Yeah. So every pose has to start from the floor up. So take a minute and put it together. So yeah, start yeah. from the floor. Conscious of the floor underneath your feet, half section the foot, take the inventory of the calf up through the through the vastus, the inotibial band, vastus lateralis, be conscious of the hamstring, find where the glute is, you know, that, that, that's a, that little placement on that knee that allows you to play. Yes. And now, so once you bring that inventory working up to your to your hip, now take the time, yeah. lock those things in place first, then take the time. Find it and lock it. And now, you're finished. Okay. But be conscious of the floor first, you start from the floor. Up, 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 up. That way as you... Do you do that? Do you still do that with your pose? You go, you take inventory from the ground up, or does it just like all at the same time? Technically, regardless of what it may look like to the audience, that's really how it's supposed to be done, that checklist. Yeah. Because usually what happens is, day of competition come, and other things can happen, and you're so worked up in your mind that you'll, you'll stand here in, your, in just certain areas, the actual slide tricep, and if you haven't really practiced how to effectively stop time, <laughs> focus on the, because that's really what happens. It's like the, the baseball player when the ball is thrown at 100 yeah. miles an hour, the baseball player, he, he's able to spin, you know, he's able to see and s stop time if need be in order to make his bet, find a bright point okay. and connect. So you're saying so when thing, you're pro, it just happens so quick. It looks like it may look like it's happening quickly, right. but the the, the 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 point of reference that I'm trying to share with you is being conscious of the floor. It starts with being conscious of the floor underneath you, and then what happens is you start working through that inventory. That's the checklist. The checklist. Every pose starts from the floor up. Yes, yes, and then sit up with it. Don't don't stay bent over because that's that's. When you see Little Brother, you see you know you see the, like the, the greats. They're not hunched in. They're they they're not contorted. They get they get into the pose and it's and it's there. It's it's beautiful. It's complete. Yeah. So when when you're still in, in in this kind of position and that's your version of completing it, it's still incomplete. So the polish that, that it looks like you just you need right now is just finding that that place of complete. The finished pose. I don't twist so much. 
And remember, the, remember, remember this thing starts from the floor up. So see like, see like this, when, you, when you're conscious of it, you flex it in it, all this stuff, all this detail kind of starts radiating its way out from underneath the skin. Hamstring, uh, iliotibial band, vast lateralis. I want to see, see though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. but this is, but this is it. And this is what happens when you're training. This is why like the idea of this pump, pump, pump driven focus is, is, is overrated. All right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because the truth is I can't just pump this and then leave it alone. And now that's, that's enough. Because if, if that's it, then what happens with the neurological awareness that I need to be able to find these things and demonstrate on command, yeah. you get me? And then, and then be able to do them well, it looks like I'm not even thinking about them anymore, but I am. All right. Because everything starts from the floor, every pose starts from the Let's start from the floor and back. Yes. Okay, let's do it. All right, because I think my back is the strongest point. No, your back is not your strongest point. It's not. No. Overall development is your strongest point. You are complete from the floor. You have development everywhere. So it's obvious that you've been conscious Consciously training, you know, your calves are developed, your hamstrings are developed, your quads are developed, your back, your lower lats, your middle trap, your upper trap. You're, you have a, you have the reason why people are identifying you the way that they are. Oh, you need to get ready for a show. They're not saying, "Wow, dude, you got some big ass arms." You know what I mean? <laughs> There's a difference between having big arms and being what looks like a complete physique. Okay. When people are responding to you, they're responding to the years of invested effort that you've put into developing the, the different parts of your body. What happens is when we see it all together, we say, wow, you know, his lats are developed, his chest is developed, his arms are developed, his forearms are developed, your delts are developed, your calves are developed. That is the thing that we're responding to when we start talking about bodybuilding. Gotcha. You know what I mean? And I believe that's why you're able to hear the word bodybuilding in your mind and it resonates with, yeah, I'm interested in bodybuilding. If you were just a dude that had great condition right now and just a back, somebody would say, well, what are you, a runner? But they're not saying that. Yeah. You're not even saying that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I and I believe the reason why is because there's an idea, at least in the back of your mind, that relates to the concept of complete total body development that you're somewhat conscious of even when you don't think that you are. So when you said to me like just now, hey man, you know, my, my back is my best. Your back isn't your best. You know, your mind is everything. And it's that conscious mind that's been demonstrating the effort that's obviously seeable and noticeable with development everywhere in your physique. You have a, a physique, not just a back. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I so, that means it's more than you think it means to Juju coming from you. He's like, he's on the inside, he's really, really happy. Uh, <laughs> he's very bashful right now, but this means a, a ton coming from you. Oh, well, I'm, 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 not, I'm not just trying to stroke. Oh, I know, I know you wouldn't very, do that. Very, no, very, that very, very impressive. Yeah, thank very you. impressive. Oh. So, from the back, you want to do from the back? Yeah. Let's get it. So now, everything starts from the floor, right? So, yeah. and, so, so what happens is, so, when I, when I think about from the rear, I don't just think about my back. I think about the placement of my front leg, right? Because ultimately, when I place that front leg, I'm still going to need to flex my calf, my calf on that front leg, the hamstring on that front leg, and even the glute on that front leg, right? And as I do that, guess what? I'm able to now become conscious of my calf, hamstring, glute, you know, and now from the waist up, I'm able to start to think about being ready to start to talk about flexing these other parts of your body. Okay. So, okay. so here, here, glute. So with the place on awareness of the floor behind you, right? And the floor beneath you. You know, you plant that foot down. As you plant that foot and you kick this leg back, flex this cap. No, 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 not this way. Take it back. So, so, so I plant, right? And I'm gonna, I don't want to be here. I want to kick this back. Because I want to I wanna give myself I want to give myself balance, the ability to balance, stabilize myself. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right. So now, flex. Here, cat. I am. Hamstring. Glute. Now, I'm conscious of flexing this cat, hamstring, glute, right? Yep. Lock it. I oh, got it. Now, with that, I'm able to think about hands up, right, spinal erectors, up through my back. Yes? 
Yep. Rear delts. Lower trap. Upper trap. Reach for the ceiling. Right? Now, resist. Isometric contractors show us. This is the most muscular from the rear. But we are talking about activating lats, rear delts, rhomboids, traps, and delts. Yes. Now, don't get lost to your start. Over here, go heist. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm My legs to, are tired. Man. I'm not trying to drill you, but uh, this every pose again yeah. starts from the floor up, right? And if you go through the checklist, like we just talking about, going yeah. down to the floor, going through my feet, and now what happens is you so come up, flex, hamstring, you know, cat, hamstring, leg is back, yeah, yeah, cat, hamstring, glute. It's cool. Yeah. Now I'm able to start working with my upper body. But what happens is once I finish. On the top, because of the way I got there, yeah. everything that I've taken notice of when I inventory this, it means that once I get to the top and I'm finished, I'm finished. And now, all I have to do is hold it. Kyle's okay, got you You're worked up more right. sweat than I have right. from right. posing. Right. This is how passionate he is right. about all of this. This is amazing to watch. You're glowing right now. Right. You're just glowing, you're sweating, you're, you're working your ass off. I just. You care so much about this, and I feel that you care about me, so I want to yeah, thank absolutely. you very much. I oh, genuinely oh. feel that you do care. Yeah, that, yeah. This, this is definitely, I mean, I know the camera's around. <laughs> yeah, no, no. But, but the truth is, yeah, man, this is, <laughs> this is, this is, this is a welcomed opportunity. Why, because this is something that I, I really have taken a lot of time. Yeah. This really has meant a lot to me. Um, from the beginning of my journey as a, as a, as a competitive bodybuilder, mm -hmm. and technically, in large part, it's one of the one of the largest reasons why the discipline of competitive bodybuilding um, is so important, and why it can never be um, separated from the art form. You know, mm -hmm. once you separate it from the art form, that's when it becomes the other things that people talk about: PEDs, uh, numbers, and, and other other nonsense. You know, um, there has to be. There is a really beautiful art form that talks about self mastery, self discipline, mm -hmm. um, that is able to be experienced in this game, just like every other you know sport and, and, and discipline that I'm sure you are able to understand and probably talk to me about on very intense levels in terms of <laughs> everything that you do, as amazing as you are. This is something that has been very, very near and dear to me, um, and it's been an honor to be able to share this moment with you. And if there was one thing that I want to leave with you. Um, I, I, probably, I can't wrap it up. I don't really care about it. But I mean, is the isometric contraction. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, that that is the thing that has to lead you not just in the gym, but also in your ability to display the muscles. So to build the muscles, one thing, but to be able to display it, it's still true. It's that isometric contraction, and the only way to do that is to be able to feel, right. feel and connect with your instrument. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be the place where they buy tickets, you know, with one organization or another organization and, and somebody else, you know, you know, makes money off of that. Yeah. As much as I'm trying to recognize the idea that, you know, this is your masterpiece. Every time you walk and do what you do, you show a tremendous amount of work and effort that has gone into um, the specifics of how you thought. So every time we see that, we see it. This is a body of work that testifies to, you know, man, for two hours a day, you know, one day a week, three times a week, I, I focused on thinking about training my chest. For three times, three times a week, or four times a month, or seven times, you know, I've worked on my delts. You know, whether you say it or not with your mouth, your body speaks volumes of how you thought and what you were thinking about for those um, periods of time. So, you know, getting ready for a show, I think the show is every time you take off your shirt, every time you share or unveil for us, what we can see is hours and hours of complex thinking that led to activity that ultimately was supported and reinforced by nutrition and rest that, you know, allows for this masterpiece to be unveiled. So that was the show. Yeah. Every, every day. Yeah, thank you for watching yeah, yeah, the show, YouTube. Yeah. Every every episode is a show. Absolutely. Well, Kai, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. That's what's up.